Hi, my name is Toyo Siyatin F. Young, and you are getting to know me better. Paper. Frampton Rivers, definitely. Ah, ah, ah. Please, I respect my elders. I'm very respectful, highly respectful. So I will be saying both of them. Hmm. I feel like I have moments for, for, for either. You know, short stories, you get straight to the point. You know, you go through the prose, you know, the beginning, the middle, the end. Novels, you're on that book for like days. But I like a good novel. I like a good novel. So I'll say novel. Non fiction all day, almost every day, but non-fiction. I just love to learn from people's experiences. That's what life is about. And so many people are secretive, like they like to keep things to their chest. They don't want to share their mistakes. They don't want to talk about what they've been through, all of that. Uh, if you find somebody who's willing to share, who's willing to express themselves, talk about their mistakes, please read, you know, read what that person went through and you may be avoiding the same mistakes. Action, 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 action. And I'm saying action a lot of times because there's a lot, there are a lot of things parading themselves now as comedy and um, they're not funny. Like, they're not, like, it's not funny. That's the truth, it's, it's not funny. So yes, action. Audio book. Oh, I don't know why I'm cringing saying this, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm an audio book convert. I feel like the feel of paper, you know, in my Bible, like, you went to my Bible, like, it's almost scary. In fact, it's torn. I like it. I like the voice of the person that reads King James Version for New Version Bible. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but his voice is really calming and soothing. And this is a long answer for a short question. So audiobook, audiobook. This is tough. This is tough. There are two coming to mind now. One, one is from a distance, distant memory. Woman of Substance was a good one. But if I had to choose, I would say The Alchemist. The Alchemist is my favorite book of all time. Book that made me cry. All those Daniel Steele's of 1990-something. That, that woman would just write and, yeah. But in recent times, what book has made me cry? Um, I don't know that any book has made me cry in recent times. Plus, the kinds of books I'm reading are different. So they're not made to... They were not written to make you cry. They were written to ginger you, say, to get your life. So yes, uh, I don't, I can't really answer this one. Last book that surprised me, my book. <laughs> now you know me better. Surprised me. If anyone had said I would sit and write a book in 2020, you know, it's something I had in my mind. Maybe at 50 or at I don't know, 110 or 15. But in, like this year, beginning of this year, I had no intention of writing a book. It was not on my to-do list. So a book that has surprised me the most is my book, Now You Know Me Better. And I hope you've read it. And I hope you like it.